Welcome to the I'm Not Dumb But podcast, where we won't claim to have all the answers to life's deepest questions, but we'll give you an exciting journey into the realms of knowledge you never knew you needed. Today, we bring you another episode of I'm Not Dumb News. I'm your host, Victor, joined by the man after three seasons of Suits is now our attorney, Caesar. Hello. And someone who, after three seasons of The Rookie, is in desperate need of said attorney, Rob. You. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, we're pretty good, good, man. You guys ready to get fucking current? Let's get current. What's let's going go. on? All right, let's jump in. Our first article, Bedbug Fears Grip Paris as French Minister Pledges Action. France's transport minister on Wednesday urged for calm amid widespread reports of bedbug infestations in Paris and other cities. Videos appearing to show bedbugs on the Paris metro, high-speed trains, and at Charles de Gaulle Airport were shared widely on social media. Sightings have also been reported in home, cinema, and hospitals. That, that is gross. Bedbugs are great hitchhikers, allowing them to travel long distances with people. France has seen a significant increase in visitors as a result of Fashion Week in recent weeks which provides an ideal scenario for bed bugs to be transported from one location to the next. Have you guys ever had to deal with bed bugs? No, thank God. No, but uh, I always check when I go into a hotel. Really? Always. First thing I do, I flip open the, uh, the blankets and I just look. I look. I, I don't know. I saw something online you once got a, and I was you got just a black like, freaked too? out. Uh, I will. <laughs> You'll just check out then. Just... I think there was a murder in here. <laughs> It's like a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Caesar, have any? Uh... No, man. And, and, and I take the train every day, and luckily, so far, I haven't had to deal with them. But um... so I used to live when I was in college. I lived in an ap apartment, a really shitty like they like converted an old house into like a bunch of different apartments. And I thought I had bed bugs at one point because I would wake up with all these welts all over my fucking body, and it would be itchy as fuck. And then I got an email from the, from the landlord saying that bed bugs were in the, the building and they were sending people around. So they sent a bed bug specialist into my apartment. He looked around my bed, around my apartment, and he was like, there's no bed bugs here. There's no evidence of bed bugs here. You're good. But I'm like, dude, Did you I'm show waking him your body? Up. I showed him my arm. I was like, dude, I'm waking up with these welts. I'm like, what the fuck is this then? He's like, Tribal here, tattoos, here's... Bro. here's a... <laughs> Here's a spray and just spray it over your bed and it should get rid of the bed bugs. I sprayed it every night and it smelled fucking like lemon. It smelled weird. <laughs> they never, it never went away. And then I, I eventually I moved out of there and it just went away. I, and they saw no bed bugs. I had no idea what the fuck was that was. So something else was biting you, which is weird. Something was biting me. I don't know. Maybe it was fleas, but I, fleas are like crazy. I, they don't go away by themselves. And were you getting rashes? It looked like little, like, like a bunch of mosquito Oof. bites. But, like, no, there's no bump. It's just, like, a little welt. Oh, yeah. That sounds like bad bugs. Yeah. yeah. It's not, it's it, like, yeah but I sure. checked the bed. The guy, the specialist came in. Nothing. Because when I was watching it, it was like, you can actually see the bed bug on the bed. Yeah. Like, that's what and, they said. And you looked. Yeah. And you didn't see anything. You didn't see no, anything? I, no, nothing. I, ch I flipped the whole bed over. Fucking nothing. But to be honest, some of these exterminators, right? I've been in buildings where like cockroaches and stuff, and they come in, they spray, and it, they don't really do anything. So I'm not sure. Maybe it could have been a bad exterminator. He didn't spray shit. He gave me the spray. He was like, you deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back next Sunday. <laughs> so some tips to avoid bed bugs. Since Fashion Week is ending and they're going to bring it over back to the U.S., all the celebrities are coming back infested with bed bugs in their private jets. Some tips to avoid bed bugs. Reduce clutter in your home to reduce hiding places for bed bugs. Vacuum frequently. Caution when using shared laundry facilities. Transport items to be washed in plastic bags. And at hotels, avoid putting clothes on the bed and in the drawers. I'm fucked. Well, first of all, who puts their clothes in the drawers? Bro, I have seen people put clothes in their draw in drawers at the hotel. Like, when you, you know go the, to a hotel, the decoration ones? I live out of my suitcase. Yeah, no, absolutely. I just started hanging Jack. The extra chair is the closet. 
chairs. <laughs> the extra, yeah, the extra chairs, the closet. I've seen people yeah. do that. I've seen people take their clothes out and fold it into the the drawers. Yeah, this ain't your house. Don't do that. Yeah, don't even have it there. I thought those were for decoration. I do use the closet though. I just started hanging jackets. What do you? Oh, in so the you closet. hang your jacket in the closet. Yeah. When I, when but I'll I have do like shirt, one or two. Yeah, when I have a shirt that that I iron, then I that I need iron. I'll, I'll put probably put it in the closet. But oh, I just hang it up on the um on the uh, the sprinkler system. Yeah. It says not to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best hanger. It'll the, hold. Yeah, it'll hold. That's the best place to do it. Uh, no, we had a big bed bug infestation at work once and that was because people kept putting their bags on the dirty floor and then bringing them to the offices and like the lounge areas and it was like everywhere because the floors in new york city are filthy so people would just come in put their bag on the floor grab it throw it in there and it was all in the lockers it was all in the break rooms it was they had to come in and do all that stuff that's disgusting i remember a couple of years ago we did have an infestation in new york city and what happened with that? Because I haven't. Heard oh yeah, that's right. All the hotels were like complaining yeah. they all had bed bugs and stuff. And, you, and if bug? you throw your mattress did out, COVID in New York, you got to wrap it. Actually, I did read something that said COVID brought down the rate of bed bugs. Because it brought down the rate of human beings. <laughs> as soon as everyone was dying, I bet you the vaccine was killing them. <laughs> 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 the bed bugs took the COVID vaccine, and then Fauci Which got one, to bro? them. Which one, bro? Which one? Which one? Johnson and Johnson. I- Obviously, uh, but France, man, bad bugs in the protest. Not <laughs> bad bugs in protest. That's what they're all about. And fashion, they week. love it. They love a good fight. They love a good like civil war. Yeah, they're all about that. Now that's gross. That's gross. I'm not going to Paris. I've never been, but I'm not going now. No, that place is terrible. So our next article: Netflix reportedly plans to hike prices for no ads plans after actor strike is settled. The streaming service is discussing raising prices in several markets globally and likely will first increase fees in the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S., Netflix's standard plan is currently $15.49 a month and the premium tier costs $19.99 a month. NBC Universal instituted first price increase for Peacock this summer, as did Paramount. And on Tuesday, Warner Brothers Discovery announced a price increase for Discovery Plus of nearly 30% in the US and Canada, effective immediately. So I've said this before, and I'll say this again, everyone needs to cancel Netflix and show them who's boss. It's not worth the increase every single time, especially what they did with all this, like, can't share the, everybody was sharing the accounts. That's the only reason why I watch this stuff. And what's it going up to 20 bucks a month? They haven't said, they haven't listed. They just said they will be increasing it. Where are these ads actually placed? No, these are the no ad it. plans. So I'm, I'm saying the ones with ads, where are they placed? Are they placed within the actual show? Honestly, I have no, I've never seen the ad, uh, an ad plan on Netflix. I would think it's like Hulu, where it's just like in the middle of a show, like it would be a regular commercial. And then like, are they going to have banners all over like Netflix? Like are that how they're going to do the ads now? Don't they already have it? I've seen the banners, like the Netflix games. Stuff like that. Oh yeah, so you can get it's seven dollars a month. It's six ninety nine for the standard with ads plan. And where are the ads placed? Does it tell you or no? Probably the most inconvenient time ever. Like someone gets shot and then after the after the end shows up, it's an ad. <laughs> what they need to do is someone needs to come out with like a service where you just go through and click all the shows you want, right? You like across all the streaming services. And then that program will create an algorithm where it will time your subscriptions. So you just pay monthly for whatever it is. It says, okay, based off these shows, this is the monthly price you're going to pay. And then it should sign me up and automatically cancel me so that I can watch all these shows. Because jumping between all these is ridiculous. Like Paramount Plus and this and that. I mean, sometimes I want to just watch like Only Murders and then Yellowstone. I don't want to jump back and forth. I think that one of the biggest issues with this pricing and why shit's so expensive is that it's all this original content that every fucking platform is now pushing. Oh, we have original content. We have original content. When 90% of the content that they produce is garbage. 
it's don't even fucking bother watching it. And it would be cheaper if they just showed other people's content. It's just, yeah. Like how, I mean, you, it, how Netflix used to be. How Netflix used to be. Someone you needs know. to consolidate all this content or make it easier for us to, to get. Uh, That's what Netflix used to be. Yes. Create a plan, right? Take all these streaming services, all these shows, all of them, right? Package them up. You pay a monthly fee. And then you get all the ads, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 30 seconds in, with, in between the shows. Anytime they release a show, you get a new episode every week. So you have to wait a week for every episode. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sounds like TV. Exactly. <laughs> Which like is exactly what all this is going to. Well, and we'll call it <laughs> Cablet. It was supposed to not, like Netflix was destroying TV. Netflix as a streaming service was destroying TV. And then all of a sudden, the streaming, all the streaming services became what cable used to be. It was said that you would destroy this and not join them. Yeah. Can, the, the system is cannibal, cannibalizing itself. So the cable's been around forever. So these streaming services... I don't services, think it's been around forever. It's been around since the invention of TVs. Nah, bro, it's been before Which that. I think the Egyptians came up with that. It's yeah, I believe there's some hieroglyphics of like boxes. Yeah, with, you know, it's and it says like it's an astronaut watching it. <laughs> yeah, MT- dude, iPads have been around forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indeed, was also advertised back then. <laughs> Zip for your needs. Building the pyramids, hire the right people for it. Is it because cable has like the best like model for a business? So all these companies are realizing, eh, we should probably go down this route. Is it the best model, though, if another company can straight up just come in there and literally disrupt them in a second? Or is it that Cable's answer was to just make their own Netflix and try to fund Netflix? Yeah. Also, like you mentioned, Netflix, right, was pushing, pushing this original content, original content. I saw reports where, like, they were spending a bunch of money on shows that were being canceled after after one season. After a while, realistically, after a while... How much money are you gonna? How much revenue are you gonna bring in per you know, for customers? You there's gonna be a drop off somewhere. You're gonna have to try to fill that somewhere else, right? And what's the best system? Not the best, but what's the system out there? Start either charging for ads, increase the price of a monthly membership. But so, that was the thing though, because like they all, I think all the, all the cable companies saw what Netflix was doing at the time which was just showing their old shows at a subscription rate. And then they said, well, fuck that. They're making all the money. We're going to create our own streaming services. We're going to pull back our shows and say, if you want to watch The Office or Yellowstone, you're going to have to buy our subscription and watch our show. And then, then they started breaking out into then, well, we got original content. We have Stranger Things. Okay, but we have this random Apple TV show that no one gives a shit about. I don't watch one show on Apple. Not one. Hijack. You gotta watch it. Oh, I heard that was actually good. Hijack is real good, man. With Idris? Idris doing his Idris, Idris thing. Apple? Yeah. Our boy Lufa. Lufa. He's on a long-ass flight on a wide-body plane, and he just shows you how to do it. It's good. Really watch it. But, but realistically, who's buying all those Par- uh, what is it? Paramount Plus, Discovery Plus, how many streaming services do you actually need? You don't All need them. them. Depends now on what you, you want to watch. It Something needs to come out where it just plans it for me. I pay it, it consolidates it, and somehow I'm able to watch all these shows. If you go to Amazon on your Fire Stick, if you look up a movie, there's a button on the bottom that says uh, View More Options. And you can click on it, and it'll tell you all the streaming. It'll tell you what streaming service it's on or available on. Or you can just buy it from Amazon. Mm. And you'll see, though, if you, you go in there, you look up a movie. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes, you know, Amazon As video ads. is showing it. Sometimes they do it with ads. And then sometimes it'll be like, oh, available through um, HBO, available through Paramount Plus, available through Apple TV or whatever. So they've divvied up their all their programming. Yeah, it, that got me once. I started watching the show. I only had the first three episodes on uh, Amazon Prime, and I couldn't find the rest because it was like Channel Eleven. What? What? I don't even know the name That's of the channel. WB. 
Is, yeah, but like it, it, it changed the, the name. It changed Pick the name. Something. Pick something. But this one was like French Canadian. So I couldn't even watch it. Mm. It was about aliens. So I was down. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is out there. Anyway, so our next uh, article. Uber will now return packages for you. Uber is looking to help with the much dreaded chore returning packages. The rideshare company released a new product update Wednesday, allowing users to request an Uber to specifically drop off their e-commerce packages to a local post office, FedEx, or UPS location. Packages sent via Uber must be valued at under $100 and weigh in at under 30 pounds, according to the company. All packages will be returned for a flat fee of $5, although Uber One members will get a discount. That's an amazing idea. Right? Can I tell you the anxiety I get of having to return a package? I went the other day to return a vacuum, and the line was out the door. It literally wrapped around the corner. It's ridiculous. Line for where? UPS. Oh. And then I always approach the, but this is what happens. I go in. I have a package. I don't know if I did it right. I don't know if it's packaged correctly. I just threw it in a box, and I'm hoping for the best. I get online. There's like three senior citizens in front of me. I finally get to the counter. I look over at the lady. I give her a smile. She gives me the biggest fucking scowl. She's just angry at being there. you did it wrong. She didn't even look at my package yet. She didn't even, she just looked at me and she's just angry, instantly angry. Then I gently place my package on the scale, right? Because I'm like, I'm just so scared. And then she looks at it. She roughs it around. She turns it over. She asked me if I have any explosives in the fucking thing, which I'm like, I, <laughs> is that extra? I, Probably. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I put, I put something in it. I, it could explode. I, I don't know. There's a battery in there. Like I'm now thinking I'm committing a crime. And all of a sudden she looks at it and she goes, this isn't enough postage. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? Yeah shakingly give her my credit card and just like pay whatever, pay whatever. If it is it $3,000. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. <laughs> that sounds like a steal. And then finally I just get rid of the package and I'm just, the fact that the ordeal is over, I'm like, I'm just happy that the ordeal <laughs> is over. I'm down for this. I'm going to, I'm going to definitely do this. So these are your returning packages from all different types of companies, right? Not just cause like for the most part, we do returns from Amazon. And it's such a simple process because there's so many drop-off locations. Even CVS. Is it five dollars per package, or can I give the guy like six packages for five bucks? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. I'm guessing mm. it's like five dollars per package, or maybe they have a limit of how many packages you can set at a time. Because I used to just drop everything off at the doorman, and he'd send it all away, and that was the best. And now I got to hoof it to a, a Whole Foods. And now if your item is like over a hundred bucks, Whole Foods won't take it. You got Well, this won't take it if it's over a hundred bucks anyway. Hmm. Yeah. How will they know? They scan it? When they scan it. The- Maybe oh, if yeah. you have insurance on it or something. I don't- when they scan the QR code? Yeah, how would it they tells know? You, it tells you what the... Um- I mean, because everything is bought through Amazon. So like Amazon needs to like link up with Uber. Yeah, but you know what? Um, a kilo can be valued at different times. For yeah, is it the rates? market value or the, the market book value? value? <laughs> yeah, and we all know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't know, man. That's a great idea. I'm gonna look that up though, because that is needed in the city. And he's gonna weigh it there, like, and he's got a scanner. Because what's gonna happen is someone's well, just gonna go. You know there what and it steal is. You know what it probably is though. You have to pay for postage, right? And that usually has the weight of the. Mm. And also, if he tries to pick it up, and you wrote fucking. 10 fragile. pounds it's it, fragile but you know i'm saying like you wrote 10 pounds and he tries to pick it up and he blows his back out because it's like a, <laughs> it's like a hundred pound weight in there like obviously he's gonna be like no you give him a tip and walk away <laughs> thanks i'm curious to see how they're gonna work this one out i don't know but i think uber is just looking for any which way to make money mm. at you know at a certain point they're gonna start offering lawn services okay i'll do anything for money all right so Taco Bell's Lover's Pass offers 30 back-to-back days of free tacos for just $10. In celebration of National Taco Day on Wednesday, which missed opportunity there. They should have started on a Tuesday. The fast food chain is returning their limited deal where rewards members can score 
30 consecutive days of tacos for just $10. The Tacos Lovers Pass works as a digital taco subscription that rewards members can sign up on the Taco Bell app either Tuesday or Wednesday. A one-time purchase of $10 will unlock a hidden category on the app menu, allowing users to choose a taco to redeem in a restaurant for 30 days. Eight taco options from the crunchy Taco Supreme to the Doritos Locos Tacos will be available. Who wants diarrhea for 30 days? The taco subscription? <laughs> <laughs> for who, real? Who would sign up for that? They should be giving that away. Yeah. Why would you do that to your lower intestine? <laughs> Why? Are you looking for a bad time? And it's they should like a, just like... You no, know, they should advertise it as like a cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> or like a challenge. Are you trying like to one of those taco challenges? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you eat tacos for 30 days? Mr. Beast comes out. I'll give you $10,000. If you eat Taco Bell tacos for 30 days. <laughs> that sounds like a miserable idea. <laughs> and yeah, uh, they came out with it on a Wednesday. No, nah, I can't do that. No. A taco subscription is not a good idea. I haven't had Taco Bell in like years. Really? Years. I, years. I had it not too long ago. What'd you have? What'd you get? The Gordita? No, I always, I usually get this. The Crunchwrap Supreme and the, uh, the little Cinnaballs. Cinnaballs? Bro. Good? The best thing on their fucking menu. Yo, Taco Bell must have resurgence because I'm seeing them open up like a bunch of stuff. Have you seen their menu? Mm -mm. It's fucking huge. They have, they sell everything now. You can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. That's like a diner? Completely. Yeah, it's it's getting closer to be a diner. (laughs) You can get omelets and a souvlaki if you want. (laughs) French toast? Now that's what I call a taco. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds like a terrible idea. 30 days. Oh, God. No way. But I mean, it's cheap. So what is it? 30 consecutive days for just $10? How much yeah. was your bill? When I went to Taco Bell? Yeah, we went to Taco Bell. Fuck. I don't know. Like maybe I'm assuming 15 inflation. bucks, something like that. 15 bucks for two tacos? I think I just got a Crunchwrap Supreme. So one taco and those little balls? So the Crunchwrap Supreme I got, is that's five bucks. And the, uh, the Cinnabon Delights is... I got two of them, so that's another three bucks. So I paid maybe under ten dollars. Oh, okay. Bro, I remember those tacos used to be like ninety nine cents. Yeah, for real. For real. Now they're but five now they got bucks. they got nacho fries, they got potatoes, they got um, they got the Mexican pizza. Yeah, the, all of which come with co- with E. coli. They got. Quesadillas. They got burritos. They got fucking. They got everything now. <laughs> They have you just bowls. unlocked a packet of they Chipotle Musel. inside. <laughs> they have a Chipotle inside the taco. They have a Chipotle Express. Wait, what? No. <laughs> they have ah. bowls. They have um, the breakfast items for every other thing you can think of. What's a breakfast item in Taco Bell? You want to go a through breakfast it? breakfast burrito. They have the, the breakfast quesadilla with sausage or bacon. They Oof, have sausage. breakfast Crunchwrap Supremes. Or sorry, they're just called breakfast Crunchwraps. And it just looks like it's, it's meat, eggs, and a hash brown wrapped in a tortilla. Bro, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Honestly, that sounds pretty you know, good. You know I might stop there, yeah. You get that in yeah. a coffee? I'm not. Oof. I'm just imagining it. I don't think it's a bad idea. And they have, <laughs> uh, they have breakfast sa- salsa packets. Yeah, you wrap anything in a fajita and it's going to taste And they have, they have the regular, they have breakfast burritos as well. Mm. Bro, I might have that to. That sounds good. Bell, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been, There's gotta be one there. We've been sleeping on Taco Bell. Ten dollars, I'll do it. With a coffee? They got coffee there too. They got coffee there too. Yeah, they got coffee. Yeah. Imagine walking around with a Taco Bell cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> walking into your meeting, your morning meeting. Guys, we got about thirty minutes before I'm <laughs> rushing out of here. <laughs> I just had a crunch wrap burrito and a, uh, a Taco Bell coffee. <laughs> That's one way to end a meeting quick. <laughs> Yo, I got a hard stop in 30 minutes. <laughs> this was a good quarter, but I got to go. <laughs> Taco Bell. Keep doing your thing, man. All right. We're sleeping on them. They're sleeping on Taco Bell. That breakfast menu did sound good, though. All right. Our last article that we're going to talk about. The critics over at The Hollywood Reporter picked 
the 50 best TV shows of the 21st century so far. So they went through a bunch of TV shows and they picked 50. We're not going to go through all 50 of them. We're just going to go through the top 10 and let's see if we agree or not. All right. So starting off at number 10, and some of these I haven't seen or haven't seen all of it. Starting off at number 10, we have BoJack Horseman. Never seen it. Heard great things about it, though. Yeah. Cartoon Network is always with those crazy shows. And that's I thought one it was on Netflix. I... Is it I... not on Cartoon Network? No, it's on, uh, it's on Netflix. No. Um, I've heard about it. I've never seen it. And the cat, like the casts are top notch. They have like a lot yeah, of big, big names on it for doing voices. All right. Number nine, Freaks and Geeks. Again, never seen it. It's an older show from like 2001-ish. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Only went oh, really? one season. I think it was on Fox and Fox was just going through. A lot of these cable networks used to just put really good shows in really bad time slots. Um, this being one of them, like they would put a show like Freaks and Geeks, right? They would take that show and then they would put it on like a Thursday night. Yeah, Not only is. that, they would start the show around baseball season. So what happens in baseball? Games Probably. go over yeah, all go the late. fucking time. So they push the show off, right? So instead of now that show's playing at fucking eight o'clock or nine o'clock when it was supposed to, it's playing at like fucking one in the morning because that's when the baseball game finished. Mm-hmm. Had some future stars on that show. Yeah. James Franco, the, Jason Siegel, Seth Rogen. Hmm. A lot of huge names. That was a, I think it's a Judd Apatow show. Oh, really? And That's what's that funny. on now, Netflix? Yeah, you can find it on Netflix. It was only went one season. Not so, so, fl- so far, Netflix has two of the top ten shows. Which is why they're charging us. <laughs> mm-hmm. so up in their uh, hey. subscription. Yeah, All gotta... right, coming in at eight, we have Girls. Is it on Netflix? No, it's an HBO show. Ah, I've never seen I... it. I've seen like clips of it, but I've never watched the show. No, nah, never heard of it. I heard of it and never saw it. All right, then. Coming in at number seven, Better Call Saul. Oh, I heard that was awesome. I watched a couple episodes. It was you never good. seen it? No. Nah, I never got into it after Breaking Bad. Break, after Breaking Bad? Yeah. Breaking Bad awesome also things, is not on the top ten. Which I thought was interesting, but Better Call Saul was. Better Call Saul was, which I only seen a few. I've watched all of Breaking Bad. How many episodes was Better Call? I mean, how many seasons did Better Call Saul go for? It It went a while. You watched that season? No. I heard about it, it, but... Seven seasons. And how many seasons did Breaking Bad go? Five seasons for Breaking Bad. So I watched a few seasons of Better Call Saul. And? I didn't think it was better than Breaking Bad. At least not maybe the first few seasons. It wasn't bad. I wouldn't have put it top 10. And who put this out? Hollywood Reporter? The critics over at the uh-huh. Hollywood Reporter. So they know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah, because that three shows already and we haven't seen any of them. Yeah. Well, th- that doesn't say much about you. No, yeah, that's true. But <laughs> you guys. Watch it, was, yeah, he's going to watch it. I, I got no time to watch TV anymore. Well, this was in what, 2008. I was watching TV back then. Actually, no, I wasn't. <laughs> So coming in at number six, we have Reservation Dogs, which I have heard about. It's recent. I think it's it's a newer That's show. Newer, yeah, yeah. It's a newer show. I've heard about it. I've heard great things about it. I've not watched it at all. Mm. We gotta check that one out. Nope. The next one coming in at number five is The Wire. Yeah, The Wire was excellent. I watched a few seasons of that. I watched well all written. that. Yeah. Oh my god, The Wire, Just, amazing. Yeah. Amazing, has most, well written. Has the most infamous meme of all time. What's what, that? What is that? It's um, I forget the 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 character's name, but he walks in and he talks to Idris Alba, and he's in like the corner store, and he's like, "Yo, there was there was a chick with you, and she had, had was a cop." He was like, "Uh, yeah." You seen that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that's from. He's like, "Yeah." Uh, the most infamous meme of all time. Yeah, the wire was excellent. All right, coming in at number four, and this was a surprise to me. Though it's it's a great show, don't get me wrong, but it was a surprise to me. Thirty Rock. Ooh, Thirty Rock is good. That high. Thirty up? Rock is good. I that's what I'm saying. It was, no, listen, it's an amazing show. I I cannot deny that. But number four. Yeah, amazing? I would put it at number four. 
out of the 21st century, but an excellent Definitely show. top 10. Definitely yeah. top 10, but I wouldn't say top five. No. And that went for a few seasons, too. 30 Rock was great. The people they got on it. Those characters were amazing. Okay, yeah. yeah. The the dialogue was amazing. Come on, Miss Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Alec Baldwin in that show is amazing, too. Killed it. Oh, he killed it in that show. Killed it. Killed it. Him and the, uh, the blonde chick. So number three. Uh, again, this is, it surprised me, Succession. Succession I haven't seen it, good. I heard of it. Oh, it is really good. It's really good. I, after not a while, that. the same thing happens every time. Yeah. You know, they all split up, and then they, something happens, and they all have to meet in the same room together. Yeah. Then they it's all like, fly to different parts of the world, and then something happens, and then they all have to meet again on, like, a yacht or something. They can't, like, Zoom? No, nah, there's no team calls. There's no, no. Zoom. There's Bro, no Google rich Hangouts. people, insanely rich people, the top one percent doesn't Zoom. Okay, no, that's they, true. they fly, just they, fly private they fly to private. wherever they need to go to, and then they meet up. Yeah, they jump in a helicopter and they meet at penthouse, and they all split up again. Hashtag gold. Now you got to watch. You never seen that show? No, I heard. Oh, I heard it's really good. It's really good. It's uh, now it's like all right, we got to put this one down, but. It's really good. I never finished it. I have ne- I watched three seasons season. of it. Yeah, I never I'm on the last finished. season. Same shit's happening every single time. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Coming in at number two is The Sopranos. Yeah. Now, I loved, loved The Sopranos. I had rewatched the entire series maybe two or three times. Maybe more than that. I never saw the last episode. You've seen Sopranos? Caesar, this is an yep. audio podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bits and, bits, bits we and can't see you nod. Bits and pieces of it, I'm saying. Wait, only bits and pieces of it? Yeah, oh, a couple my God. You got to get on that. God. You got to get on that. Oh, is this still on HBO? Yeah, of course. They're not taking they're not that gonna, down. They're not going to get rid of that guy. Bro, I was obsessed with The Sopranos. I Yeah. I even, you met the cast, didn't you? I met James Gandolfini and the guy that played, uh, what's his name, Paulie. Mm. Like I'm surprised, like Sons of Anarchy is not on this list. Well, it's not. It's not in the top huge. ten. It's at what least about Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is garbage. I wouldn't even put it in the top fifty. Are, are, you, really? are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. That the, the last final, season, the final, the, final, yeah, the last season. No, yes. that no, that makes it. That that this that's the deciding factor of an the entirety of a yes, show. They, they literally destroyed that show. But yeah, the first couple it. of seasons were all sure. amazing. And if the amazing. show ended. In the first couple of seasons, I'd say it's one of the best shows ever created. But I'm mm-hmm. judging a show. I'm going to judge it in its entirety. I can't blame because you there, but it's, it was amazing. That show was amazing sh- up to that point. A show can start off great and then completely shit the bed. And I'm not going to say the show was great. So they're saying in its entirety, Succession is top three. Eh, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about that. Eh. So number one, the number one show the Hollywood Reporter critics have picked as the best show in the 21st century so far is Mad Men. I could say Mad Men. I wouldn't say number one. Was number one? Fucking, I thought it was amazing. Number one, no way. Nah, this is... And what was the criteria? I don't know. They're critics. Yeah, they can say whatever they want. They, like, look at the artistry. I will say this, though, about Mad Men, though. It had, of a lot of shows, I think the majority of their characters had great story arcs. Mm, Yeah. It wasn't just like a lot of characters and that, you know, so their side arcs, they, they went nowhere, right? But their, their character, like even, the, even like the small characters were like well thought out. They each had like an, a vital role to play and they each, the characters grew as the seasons went on. Yeah, Mad Men was good, but I wouldn't say top, like no, number well, one. This, this top 10 is missing some of these critically acclaimed shows. That What's your crazy? favorite so show? Let's talk about it. Let's talk Prison about Break, it. Prison Break, that's a good one. Smallville, that's a good one. Prison. Nice. <laughs> I do like Smallville. Don't don't oh, show it's amazing. Smallville. Amazing from the beginning to the end. It's Come I on. never yeah. I never finished it. I kind of want to go back. It was, it was a little disappointing too. Whatever happened to her? Have you seen her? No. Recently? No. Hasn't aged a fucking day. Put her in Ooh. Top Gun 3. <laughs> the fact that she's not in more things is amazing to me. And I think the girl named Chloe was in a cult, a sex cult. She yes. just got out of prison yes. because oh, wow. she got sentenced to prison because she was recruiting 
sex cult. women to be in a sex cult or some shit. Wow. So we're not going to bring her back. Smallville too. She was a good Chloe too. So many good shows, and I don't know about this. And none of the, like the, none of those kids like homey family shows are on here. Yeah, like seven, again, Kevin. we this is only we only went to the top. Uh, That's what 10. I'm saying. Top ten. Top ten. Some of these top mm-hmm. ten shows. I was like, eh. Nah, I got a problem with this list. Family matters. Come on, man. Do oh, you have, family matters. Have you seen Jessica Alba recently? Oh yeah. Another one hasn't aged a fucking day. Because she uses Bear. I think that's her company. I think, or Honest. One of them, one of them bullshit. Is it one of those company? like organic? Yeah. She has a company. It's like a, like a Bear, some, some organic bullshit company like that. Mm. Oh, it's like, like Gwyneth Paltrow. Like it's yeah. like Goop. She just yeah. steams her vagina. <laughs> <Like> goop. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow is like, I love her. I really do. <laughs> but I don't know. I, she's like, to me, a snake oil salesman. She just oh, yeah. puts whatever's out there. But does there. she know that it's snake oil? Or do you think she knows it? Or do you think she believes it? Because I, I think there's I, a part of her that believes it. I honestly think that like most of these Hollywood people believe what people sell them. Mm-hmm. Because they're just, I don't know. I think they live in a different world. And yo, maybe they're right and it does work. Who are, who are why, we? That's why the smart ones stick to the tequila. Mm. George Clooney, uh, Aviation Gin. They all st- the rock. You just said tequila and then you <laughs> threw that, in gin. Was- is that gin? Oh, yeah, my bad. You shit. just said aviation oh, yeah. gin, and you're like... George Clooney has the ke- tequila. Uh, the yeah. Rock has a tequila. Yeah. Uh, Dan Aykroyd has a tequila. Really? Mm. The Skull. You know who... The, cr- oh. the, the Skull is, is Dan Aykroyd. Oh, that's him? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The, I think it's tequila. Dia de los Muertos Skull, or the other one? I you know who might be coming out with a, with a liquor, too? The guys from It's Always Sunny. Oh, I would drink that. Um, Diddy? Didn't Diddy have a tequila? He has vodka. Made with grapes. Made from grapes. Crystal Head Vodka. That's what Dan Aykroyd had. Oh, that's his? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Conor McGregor had a whiskey. Has one. Drink some whiskey and fight like Conor McGregor. All right. So, everyone, just subscribe to our Patreon or send us a donation, and we'll eventually come up with a liquor. (laughs) Just send us bottles of whiskey. Yeah, let us know what kind of liquor you want. Whoever. We'll take off some the label. And we'll, make, we'll make some LIT We'll buy Kirkland vodka. And we'll <laughs> change it. We'll put it in a different bottle. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's not generic. It's but private. It's, it's a private it's brand. Private. It's the same. It's private. It's the same. It's private. It's the same. What other, uh, what other TV shows do you think should be up on the, at the top 10? I think Sons of Anarchy should have been on there. Really? Yeah. That was a great show. It had so many followers. Never finished it. Never finished it. I mean, it got a little weird at the end, but just like they all do. Um, I'm surprised that a lot of the sitcoms weren't on there. Well, you got to remember, the, the, it's a sitcom. It has to be in the 21st century. Mm. That You wouldn't see Seinfeld on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They, they could be on there. They could be in the... They're just not top 10? They're not top 10. I mean, you can go through the list and see yeah, what's on there and what's that. not. What, what would you say, Caesar? Um, I was going through the list to come up with a show off the top of my head that's top 10. I'm not sure, but based on the list that they have, I've seen some shows that like can be higher up. Yeah, definitely. Banner so Brothers. I'm like, Did you ever see Chernobyl? I've seen Chernobyl. Yes, yeah. that was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. amazing. That was amazing. amazing. Great, great storyline. Yeah, I agree with a lot of these shows being very good. Game of Thrones the 30 for 30. 30s are amazing. The, um, the Americans. The ESPN 30 for 30s. The Americans was the amazing. Daily Show. Eh, it depends who was the host. Does it say? Uh, J- uh, John Stewart. Oh, then yeah. Oh, it says to present. Mm. I, yeah, I think the Stewart years of the Bones Daily Show. 30? All right, so any final thoughts on the TV shows? I mean, I like the oh, list. Shit. I don't agree with all of them. I think some could have been higher. You hear that, uh, Hollywood Reporter? You need to step up your fucking game. Next time you guys want to know, let us know. Yeah. We'll put out a list for you. Send us the list. Everyone except for Caesar, because apparently he doesn't watch half of <laughs> Email TV us the list. Email us the list. The next year, we'll take a look at it. Yeah. And we'll tell you what's on. I will watch the shows. I'll let you know if they're good or not. <laughs> next week. Eventually. Next when weekend. they pay us to watch them, I will watch them. Uh.
All right. Well, that's it for uh, this week of uh, I'm Not Dumb News. We want to thank you for listening and to stay updated on new content and to join us in on the discussion, check us out on Twitter at I'm Not Dumb But. Feel free to name drop this podcast to your friends and family as they will be impressed on how smart you've become. Until next time, stay curious. Later.